So good morning. Let me start by thanking our co-chairs, President uh, Paul Kagami and uh, Mr. Carlos Lim, and my co-vice chair, UNESCO Director General Audrey Azoli, for their leadership in bringing broadband to more and more people around the world. As the 2019 State of uh, Broadband Report said that we are releasing today shows the internet is at a crossroad. Over 50% of the planet's population is now online. A mere quarter of a century after the web first took off. And while hundreds of millions of new users are coming online every year, most of them in the emerging world, overall growth somehow is slowing. To meet the needs and expectations of those who are not connected, and to ensure that those who are already online continue to see the value of being connected. This year's report encourages us to think in terms of a meaningful universal connectivity. Behind this concept is the recognition that the digital inclusion can only be meaningful and effective if and when internet users feel empowered to use the technology and when the technology is affordable, attractive, and safe. It is the message I took to ITU Telecom World 2019 last week in Budapest, where I called on all participants to expand avenues for investment in digital infrastructure, make ICT applications and services more relevant, secure, and affordable, and give people the tools and the skills they need to navigate and succeed in the digital economy. I will deliver the same message to over 3,500 delegates who will come to Shamashink for ITU's World Telecom Radio Communication Conference 2019 in November. And uh, this is the only international treaty conference on the use of the radio spectrum and the satellite orbits. I'm pretty sure you are also very much interested and concerned about the output of this conference. But the conference is set to play a pivotal role in the digital economy and the technologies that hold a greater potential for human progress. The agenda covers key issues such as wireless broadband communications using new technologies like 5G, intelligent uh, transport systems, artificial intelligence networks, and monitoring for monitoring and predicting climate change, and the law, Earth orbiting satellite networks, and high attitude platforms, just to name a few. What is at stake is digital inclusion and the chance to improve the lives of millions around the world in support of the sustainable development goals. So let me just uh, stop this general message here. I'd like to welcome our new commissioners, that is UNICEF Executive Director, Harina uh, Tefoy, welcome. The chairman and the CEO of Orange and the GSMA chairman, Mr. Stephanie Richard, welcome. These new commissioners bring a wealth of expertise from the public and the private sectors to the commission. We at the ITU look forward to working with you on important issues like school connectivity, mobile broadband, and others. Just for your information, this morning, we at our uh, breakfast meeting, our co-chairs already endorsed uh, additional new commissioners. So we were announce the names immediately after this meeting. I also want to acknowledge today's special guests and fire starters. Those are UNHCR Deputy High Commissioner, Ms. Kelly Clements. Welcome. 
Slovenia's Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Education, Science and Support, Dr. Yame Piccolo. Thank you. Internet Society President and CEO, Andrew Sullivan. The Director General of uh, Smart Africa, uh, Mr. Lashina Kone. I think so, yeah. And we have also Mr. Bilete, Bia Ferry. He's not arrived yet? Yeah, he's supposed to also <laughs> help us to have uh, one uh, session started with uh, his message. But uh, anyhow. Finally, let me thank uh, Kevin Martin and uh, Facebook for hosting our last uh, spring meeting in Menlo Park in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley. I thank all commissioners and the focal points who contributed to this year's edition of the State of a Broadband Report. So ladies and gentlemen, the commission has gone from strength to strength in the last decade during a period of intense growth for the ICT sector with over 50 high-level global experts from across the wide range of business sectors and the international community. It is today an example of just this kind of multi-stakeholder partnerships we need to achieve the Broadband Commission 2025 targets and the UN Sustainable Development Goals. As we prepare to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this Broadband Commission, so let us reflect on what we have accomplished and what we are going to accomplish tomorrow. Where do we see ourselves in 2025 and 2030? And what will be the state of the broadband then? So thank you all for your hard work and dedication over the years. I commend all commissioners, past and present, for keeping the commission at the forefront of the digital transformation and for bringing broadband to more and more people around the world.